Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Right, so today we're going to be talking about menstrual cups. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my post on Her Natural Living Handbook where I talk about menstrual cups and also reusable pads that you can make yourself. I am all for these kind of sustainable, uh, natural ways to just do something different and something that's not harmful and that saves you some dough. I first learned about it and I thought, oh my goodness, it's so much better, so much healthier. So I was using the reusable pads for ages, for years now, and it was fine. I make them myself, I like them. I never went and bought the really cute ones that you can get, I just kept making them myself. And then, you know, I started to think about the menstrual cups, and I was like, I I'm ready, I'm ready to go for it, see what it's like. So I went and I bought two. I bought one that was a, um, either a medium or a large and the other that was a small just in case so I could know what to use. This one I actually I think this is the the larger one it has more of a silicone feel so I liked this one a lot and I also bought this one which is the smaller one this one feels a bit more I suppose rubbery than the other one put them up close so you can see bigger and smaller. I started with this bigger one because I thought, oh, I, I like the material a little better. They both come with a little bag like this, I suppose. Well, that's the, the brand that I bought for one of them. They're two different ones anyway. So I, I used this. How you apply it or insert it is pinch, make into a U, and you just stick it in there. So I did that. I felt confident because it had this that I'd be able to get it out fine. Funnily enough, I actually used it towards the end of my cycle. It was literally maybe the last day, so very light, and I had used my reusable pads for the first part. I don't know why I exactly did that, but I'm so glad that I did it that way because what ended up happening was it got stuck. Not necessarily stuck because anyone who uses this, anyone who's made videos about this will tell you it's not going anywhere. You're not going to have it get stuck up and it be somewhere else in your system. Our vagina is that you know there's no, there's nowhere for it to go so it's in there it can come out you just have to have patience but i it took me maybe an hour and a half and i couldn't get it out and i started freaking out really freaking out because i was just like the thought i want to go to the doctor to get this out I, mick was actually out at the moment but he got loads of messages from me help me it's stuck he came home he had to go in and get it out and it was a bit of a struggle for him and that's you know uh, another person coming in and seeing more what they're doing and able to have you know more uh, I suppose ability to get it out than me personally and so that was a bit traumatic and I was like I'm never using this again whose I wise idea was this uh, I don't care how useful it is I'm not going to use it then the period rolled around again and I kind of thought I want to try it again but I do not want to get it stuck again and so I went and did something that I used to do back in the day that I learned about and it was really useful and it's definitely a way to not get your menstrual cup stuck up there and just peace of mind. So we know how tampons work. I wouldn't for the life of me use them, but I used the same principle. So what I did was most of the menstrual cups come with a little tail like this. I took a piece of thread, but stronger. This isn't uh, your normal thread that you'd use for uh, stitching something that ripped so it wouldn't be a kind of stitch that I'd use with this jumper. It's a little bit stronger um, than that and so what I did very simply threaded it in a needle, stuck it through there, tied it at the end and I used this for my last period and it worked all of the days. It didn't get stuck one day in there. I was really really 
really happy with that and so should you be so the the reason I'm doing this video is because when I got it stuck up there I turned to YouTube I turned to Google I was like somebody help me you know how do they get it out a lot of the women they came on they you know were very relaxed to keep the viewer relaxed like calm down it's not gonna get stuck it's okay you just have to practice this is what you do and I listened to those calm words and I tried and I tried and I tried as I say for an hour and a half and I just couldn't get it out so I didn't see a video like this there might be one but if you haven't chanced upon it I hope you chance upon it now because if you want to use something that is better for your body better for your pockets and just overall healthier for you during your cycle but you don't want to get it stuck up there or you had it stuck up there before fear not you can do it just sew something in there make sure it's sticking out each time and go ahead and pull so last thing that I'll say is I am a, a big fan of this cup after using it for two months. I like it better than my reusable pad because the problem I was having with the reusable pad is just sometimes the, the gaudiness of it or it just being a bit chunky with some of the outfits that you wear on that day. So this is just very remote. It's in there. It does feel secure. It's not, I didn't find that it was too messy, which I think a lot of women who are thinking about this or who hear about it think, oh, it's just going to be such a mess. It's it's not that bad at all. I am lucky where I have a, a, a private bathroom in my office. So when I did need to empty and refill, at least I didn't have to go to like where anyone could just walk in and see. But pretty easy and effective all good things right so I want to hear from you now what is your favorite thing about this menstrual cup and what if you haven't used it is your biggest fear I'll be speaking to you soon my lovely bye